As the nights get cooler and winter fast approaches, there's nothing like a hearty, warming meal to comfort our souls. I've got a cracker of a recipe lined up for you, but first, we're gonna have to go and get the star ingredient from my mate, Danny Apparello Beef. Come on. This is a family run operation. And these guys are proud West Australians only selling WA meat and striving to support WA farmers. With a new retail premise in Hazelmere, I just had to come and check it out. The main reason we opened was because we've always done wholesale for the last 30 odd years and we thought it was time that we opened up a retail outlet to the public. So we've kept our prices reasonable, we've tried our best to, to get that wholesale feel in the room and keep it as what it is, wholesale. Now you guys have been in the beef industry for a fairly long time. So mum and dad started in the late 80s. Now there's myself, my brothers, we're all involved still as a family business and we're hoping to take it on to the next generation. So this is one of the steps in going forward for us. Mate, I'm looking for a cheaper cut of meat. You wouldn't have to have any beef cheeks in there, would you? I do. Excellent. I've got the right ones. Great. Now I've got my showstopper. I'm going to head back to the kitchen and cook these bad boys up. So now I've got my hands on some of these fantastic beef cheeks. These really are the ultimate winter warm-up. Today we're going to make a braised beef cheeks with Pedro Jimenez, a mashed potato and a fantastic salsa verde to really cut through that richness. And because here at Brown Street Grill we cook everything on the open fire, I'm going to do mine in a camp oven, but you can do this easily in the oven at home. Right, so first of all we need to season our beef cheeks. I'm using a beautiful flake salt here. Always do both sides. Now I've patted these dry so as I get good colour on them. Okay, into the pot. So now our beef cheeks are beautifully sealed. We'll take them out and we're gonna add the rest of our aromats. Our onion. A celery, one carrot, a bit of garlic. We're going to get in with some thyme. Give it a nice little stir. We're going to get those nice and brown. So I'm going to pop that back on the heat for a couple of minutes before I add the alcohol. So we've got some good colour in our veggies now. We'll bring it over. Then we'll add the booze. So I've got some Pedro Jimenez and some red wine. We're looking at about 250 mils of each. And we're just going to reduce this by half. In with our beef cheeks. We're going to finish that with a little bit of beef stock, just so it's just covered. On with the lid. And I'll see you in five hours. I love this style of cooking. It really is fantastic. We're just gonna put a little bit of mash down, make a little bed for the beef cheek. Don't forget the sauce, the sauce is really important. We're gonna finish this off with this salsa verde. Look at that, wonderful. Rich, buttery, slightly acidic, Borello beef cheeks. It doesn't get much better than this. 